Hey boys, welcome to Fast Games, my name is Simon Litter. Today we're doing a, basically a Essen Spiel haul video. Spiel Essen as the press are officially going to be calling it, so apologies for that. Uh, pretty tired, um, I'm wearing a damp Mass Games t-shirt, uh, which is fairly humid to wear. But here I am showing you my haul video from 2023. The reason for showing you off this video is because someone has actually said, oh, I want to see your video. I said, which one? And they also the haul video, so here you go. So I think there's 160 items here. There's a very few others which um, are not in shot, which uh, you'll see in the coming months. But uh, Time Division, you can already see in the channel. Uh, there's a few other videos you can see on the channel, such as the Animals of Baker Street, but I haven't played for the missions, that's on there. Far Away is doing very well as well. Uh, more stuff for Gin, you can find out on Amass Games under Instagram, so head over there via the description on YouTube. Uh, Knock Mal, I've got my fourth copy of Knock Mal now. Uh, by the way, this video is sponsored, so there's a couple of sponsors at least. We've got right down the bottom here, we've got a game called uh, The Faceless, so I believe that's coming to Kickstarter, a coming to base in Europe, and also uh, the main sponsor, we've also got Tolerance as well, the people behind Dragon Thorn Productions. So uh, Tolerance is a game, it's a trick-taking game, three to five players. I unboxed a video for it the other day. Of all the games that I was looking to get, uh, that was in the top six games, so I was really keen to try that one out. And uh, yeah, we just got very well together. Other games, such as UK Games Expo, you may have seen my podcast where I talked about Heart of Crown. That is a deck-building game from Japanime Games, which is basically a German, sorry, American imprint of a Japanese company, basically lots of Japanime stuff, American market. I met the owner of that company and Kimo over there too. So uh, that game I heard about at the Games Expo demonstrating various games such as 3000 Scoundrels and I said, oh guys, what games have you enjoyed? And some people said Heart of Crown. So I was looking forward to checking that out over at Spiel Essen because I couldn't see anybody at the stall over at uh, UK Games Expo. We've also got vegetable stock. So that's sold out at UK Games Expo, so check my playlist for that. Also check out my Spiel Essen playlist. So you've got two convention playlists to check out. Check my various kind of setup play review playlists where these kind of games are on there too. Also check out my unboxing teaser trailer preview over video playlist for some of these other games too. So now I'm going to talk about why I got these games. So uh, we have got Flam Rouge BMX. Big fan of Flam Rouge, again another deck building game. This is a BMX version and I know nobody else has got it so I was keen to try that out. Balloon Pops done very well as a short so I was keen to play more of that. It's a bit like For Sale. I've got For Sale Autorama which is a follow up to For Sale and it's very similar to Far Away which was kind of the game of the show for me although in this particular instance it wasn't the game of the show because the game of the show is out of shot, which I might be able to try and reach. And basically, that is Mimic Octopus Cringe Edition. So I'll try and grab that in a minute. But basically, that's the game so far of the year. Uh, this I didn't play actually in Essen. I played in Bochum half an hour away at an event on Saturday. So I caught up with those guys on Thursday evening for dinner as well. We've got Uno Flex. So again, it's 51 years since Uno came out, 880 million copies sold. We've got a third trilogy of 50 Clues, and also by that publisher, we've got Otlo Stones, which is like an abstract strategy game. We've got the first two expansions, I'd say two, maybe more, from Arnak. Um, Arnak itself, I was a major impressed with, but I've heard really good things about the expansions. I picked up the second one, and I was able to get the first one as well, uh, so that's really cool. And I didn't realize that what who looks like Paul Brogan, although I think he's got his own version on the front. Uh, so I'm guessing it isn't him. Uh, but they're on the front of the cover, and in this instance, I've just heard some really good things. I've got it in, in my box insert down there too, so that's going to be really good because they are fantastic. That's why I've got Lorenzo Old Magnifico already kitted out with that. Uh, uh, currently, at the time of recording, my um, insert of choice. We have got a new game by Looping Games. This is called Herbify. It's unlike another game, 1902 Milliers, which is a standard size small box games, uh, which you can find on the channel too, such as 1911 Abinson vs. Scott. This one is a bit bigger, it's a tar lane game, looks really cool. Looking forward to trying that out from that Spanish publisher. And what else do we have? We've got Coloma, this is the deluxe edition, you can't tell because it's the same as the original, but I'm looking forward to getting the new edition next year, that's in the middle of the summer, from Final Frontier Games. We've got Euclid down the bottom from Board and Dice. I've been using all day my Board and Dice mug, playing Aeon's End, uh, The New Age, as well as Terrific Mods, the dice game, which is definitely 7.5 out of 10, really good, really enjoy it, perhaps my favorite. Check out my Ares Expeditions playlists, including my solo playthrough, check out my solo playthrough playlists, amongst many others. Two expansions, the fourth and fifth one for Heart of Crown as well. This Heart of Crown copy, by the way, is a standalone newer edition, which includes the base game too. We've got um, For the King and Me, which is a new version of Biblios. So that's Biblios or Biblios Dice on yellow. 
We've got coral, which I'll demonstrating over it. Uh, obviously, spiel Essen in hall three at three S one o two for two tomatoes, as well as another game by them called gluons, whereby you are looking to have quarks and gluons will be shared, and basically uh, things will swap around when you get points. And more videos coming for that. We've got Christmas tree, which in, when it isn't Christmas involves a fish theme, but that is from board. Uh, sorry, from TBD, which is the uh, Taiwanese board design. And uh, there's another 20 or plus games we're going to get from them to run out of space. Some of the 24 games I think it was, including what sold out, which was Taiwan Night Market. I've been to Taiwan Night Market, love them. I spent Christmas and New Year there. Great place, highly recommend it. I use a comb from there too, which I was given over 10 years ago when I stayed in a hotel there. We have got uh, Scoventire, which is from Impatience, but not by Shape Torbay, who I met. His dad was there again. We got chatting. His dad is just bag of laughs, brilliant, love him. Uh, we've also got Troubles from Albi, uh, we've got Carrick down here too, which is great. You might see my video for that, and Carrick too. Carrick too is out of shot, unfortunately. Uh, we've also got RE Code Plus, very keen to try that out. We've got Spicy, which is great. Um, we've also got the first, well, we've got the Sherlock expansion for Picture Perfects. I do have a pickpocket expansion. Unfortunately, one of my bags went missing. Uh, it's in a red Catan bag. I'm missing some games, and I know that one has gone missing, unfortunately. From uh, Funny Fox, we've got Nautilus Island, which is really cool. We've also got no uh, Nova Capital, sorry, Lunar Capital. I was given that game and another game uh, by a friend uh, who ran out of space. I've got some sleeves for Hike. I've met the Hike designer. I've got the Hike expansion as well. Uh, we've got some other stuff like Genius Star. Uh, we've got other games such as Secret Santa. This is from Matigo or Matigo and Friends. We've also got a small game by the lovely illustrator Ronald McDonald who illustrates games such as Undaunted Stalingrad, which I played on Thursday again, the Mission 13. All the other Undaunted series, the Western Legends stuff, which I've got just out of shot as well. And uh, basically, it's again that this person's design. Also, Legacy of Hugh, so a solo game by Shen Phillips. I met him over the UK Games, uh, sorry, at the uh, Spiel Essen Fair as well. Check out my pictures over on Instagram for that, along with Sam, that is SJ McDonald, who both designed uh, Wayfarers of the Ty South Tigris, which is uh, somewhere down here too. Um, which, yeah, is in shock. Here it is, this one. Also, a German promo for an exit of the game, which I'm a big fan of. Check out 26 videos for that. We've got some lovely uh, uh, placemats and cork mats with my logo on it. First, second, third player, and there's a, there's a third one somewhere, but the fourth as well. More inserts this time for, we've mentioned Arnak. We've got Smartphone Link, which is deliberately clapped down so you can punch it and push it together using wooden mallets. I've also got other inserts for a few other games, such as First Rat, which is down here. And there's another one too. Uh, we've also got an insert for Great Western Trail, first edition, which is what I've got. We've got Rocadromo from Two Tomatoes, which is a rock climbing game. We've got Gutterhead, which I've heard great things about. Peak Oil and Peak Oil Puppeteer. We've also got Codex Lester. This is a Leonardo da Vinci game from Dice Tree. Uh, we've also got uh, Twerkin, or Twinkle, sorry, from V Games, is a Greek publisher, I believe. We've got Forts from Leader Games, uh, which is really good. Check that out on the channel too. It's a game that it's quite tricky to teach initially, uh, but that's where it's set up a certain way. And I've got the expansion with cats and dogs. So more stuff to chuck in, which fits in the box. Lovely components, and um, it's, I think it's better for more players. What else? So we talked about the faceless, so I'm looking forward to checking out tomorrow. We've got uh, Wingspan, we've got Discordia. I met Bern Eisenstein, Bund Eisenstein, B-E-R-N-D, and uh, had that talk to us. I uh, played that with candies from the uh, Board Game Geek uh, website. So that's from Iron Games. Uh, we've got The Glade by Richard Breeze. That's coming 10th of November. That'll be unboxed. We're going to have Link. So I played another game in the gift series earlier today. I played Devon, so I taught that. So uh, that is, I think, the fifth one in the series. Probably my top three. We've got Cactus Towns from Second Gate Games, which aren't making any games at the moment. They're on like pause moment. Uh, but this has some minis. It has some standees. I saw it last year. I was quite keen, so I managed to get a copy of that. And the Utopia from Arcane Wonders, we have got Gugong Deluxe Edition, which are lovely gold leaf pieces. Trolls and Princesses from Game Brewer, as well as Migdala, the Palaces of Carrera, and Delta, all by um, Game Brewer over in Belgium. And I was trying some of their lovely Belgian beers, the triples and stuff like that. Amygdala, by the way, is by Wolfgang and uh, Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling. So hopefully you find that interesting because I've got many videos of them. They've won more Spiel des Jahres than anyone else combined even individually. Uh, as well as that, we've got Big Boss, again by Wolfgang Kramer, two to six players, quite similar to Acquire. You've got Average Hitchcock's Rear Window, a 10 out of 10 film for me. I, again, big into films, having reviewed 6,600. Ball games, it's 2,400 time recording. 
We've got Almost Innocent, more games from Matago and Friends and Colossal. Again, Colossal brought us Western Legends. Uh, with more games such as Factory 42, he talked about Dragon Dawn already. We've got loads of stuff for uh, an, an uncultist down the bottom here, and there's more stuff on the floor. And then we've got Jin, which I played with Z Garcia from the Dice Tower, so check out my video and pictures over on Instagram and on their Instagram too, and their videos. Uh, we talked about everything else, talked about Nuclear, we've got Australia, which was keen to play by Martin Wallace, uh, which is a kind of semi cooperative element to it, which is where, yeah, you know, things get overrun by Stronghold Games as well. We've mentioned Wayfarers, we've talked about everything else there. Mikitas from Funny Fox Games as well. I've heard good things about this, and again, it was given by a friend who uh, won it. Uh, this is Age of Wonders Planetfall. Now, World Wonders sold out, uh, I, was, I was surprised they were able to get a copy of that. Uh, what else do we have down the front here? So, we have also got um, more stuff from Keen Bean for Roll Camera, that's going to be coming this quarter. We've also got, so we mentioned Northwest Island, we've got Siberian, so this is, I've uh, got the hike expansion stuff here. We have got from Wonderful World, you might have seen my video just went out for Animals Gathering. This is uh, Rubber Paper Scissors, which looks really cool. We've also got Siberian, the latest game from Shady Torbay, so been really busy. So again, this is the second edition. Well, I say second edition, it's now Impatience version on the Universe. We mentioned for sale was Rama. I couldn't get any more of the uh, Aeon's End stuff. They only have War Eternal, which I've already got on the channel, which was my game of the month for the month of October 2023. But I do have three of the mini expansions, which include extra mages, extra nemesis, and extra cool cards. Uh, we've also got Sherlock 13 from Arcane Wonders, which is a kind of social deduction game. And what else do we have down here? Uno Party. Uh, we've got, uh, mentioned Glue Ones, General Orders, the follow up to obviously the Undaunted series, but without deck building now, it is more worker placement. And I met Trevor Benjamin, one half of that uh, fantastic design team. Also, Deck Detective, The Will Without an Air. So that's a, you, you could play it solo, but you might want to check my solo playlists and see when I solo run through some of those, but of course it will be spoilers. If not, just check out my How to Set Up Play and Review. We've got Similio, Lord of the Rings, big fan of Lord of the Rings, check out my Lord of the Rings playlist. And there's a Similio card as well, which is the one ring card. Also a, a, a board game version of Similio, which is really cool. Itto, which is a cooperative game, whereby you're trying to use certain communications to do stuff. Astro Knights down here is a follow-up to Aeon's End. Uh, down the corner there, we've got loads of Funko games, so Indiana Jones, with two or three of those. We've got Triangler from V Games again. We've got uh, the New Order, which is from Two Tomatoes, along with Escape Pods number two. We've got On the Road from Hell of a Teak. So I do like Hell of a Teak games, in particular the Stefan Spiel stuff, which I think I've got a playlist for, but they've been bought out. But I did meet Stefan, which was great, and I had a photo with him too. Uh, let's look down the bottle quickly and just check if I've missed anything off. So we've got two airs, so two airs is from Albi, we've got loads of uh, party games such as Who Phoned This, uh, Name of the Year, we've got Footprints, we've got uh, Phantom Ink, which will be fantastic, and I know there's another imprint of that, we've got Forever Home, which I'm very keen to play, my favourite game, no thanks, my top four games, but a newer edition, we've got Ecosystem, so you might have seen my uh, follow-up game to Ecosystem, which I think is Ecosystem Marine, I forget the name of it, or Coral. But uh, there's that. Uh, what else do we have down here? We talked about Karat. We've got Diamond from 2007. Obviously, Ink and Gold um, combined with that. We've got Darwining from um, Dragon's All Games. The Puzzle for Under Falling Skies. We've got Who Killed Mia, which involves like an app. Uh, we've talked about Footprints briefly from Chili Fox. And I don't know if I saw the design. I think I did. We've got Elias. I think it is. We've got Take Four. What do you mean? I've always been to play that one. Uh, Incoherent, another kind of party game. And I've got Villainous, so the first year Villainous I haven't played before, Bounty, which is a polystyrene insert from South Africa, South African published from 23 years ago. Uh, Mayor Shao, and also Dwarf and Grey Eminence from Dragon's Dawn. We've got from Cranio, we've got uh, Cranio Creations, we've got Broadlines, from Gladys and Mike, we've got uh, White Hat from uh, Dragon's Dawn. And I think that's pretty much done ways to die, which keeps dry out. And Year of Chaos, which is part of the Grey Eminence. Expansion and there's an interesting circular box on the front here, Petrius or something that's called. Lots of stuff to talk about. Let me go grab that game of the year for you now because, quite frankly, it's been really fun and uh, I've absolutely loved it. Some people say you a certain play group according to the designer, but this is it. This is Mimic Octopus Cringe Edition. Highly recommend it, but for now, back to the table.